Welcome everyone. I'm in Pennsylvania today and I'm going to show you the filming locations of the original George A. Romero's Dawn of the Dead. <laughs> this was Matt, I think. Join us, shall you? One of the roof scenes was actually filmed right on top of George Romero's old office building. Unfortunately, can't get up there, but through the beauty of the lens, we're going to zoom in and you're going to be able to see that door swing open. Come on, Martin. As the shooting happens, move in, move in to the thousand feet. We're going to look up. This was actually the spot where the police boat dock was. Hey, you guys! You better get a move on. There's a report out the dock's been knocked out. You can see downtown Pittsburgh off in the background. Notice that Ford sign back in the background. There's actually a shot with a lit up Ford sign with a helicopter. Would have landed right in this area and over here are some remnants of what could have been the gas pumps this is where the office was the police office right in here flyboy found the dead body pushed him back in the chair operator dead post abandoned In case this might look familiar to you, this is where the National Guard was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They had the National Guard all parked along the roads here. Uh, it wasn't a busy road at the time. The houses back there were not here, but they had the cannon, the fire trucks, the Roville Volunteer Fire Company all lined up, tending to the guy getting the bandage on his head. And the guys were cracking open their iron cities. So that was somewhere around this area in front of us. If you look at this house, there's actually an aerial view shot. And you can see this house in the far right corner. There were some buses parked right here. And there was a barn up there on the left, which is now gone, where they had the beer drinking party scene. Right up at the top of that hill on the left, which is now a golf course. Ah, missed. Yeah. Yeah, got him. and they took off. Yeah, to where? Over here on the helipad was the uh, boxes or crates. The camera pans over and we see Jim Crud as the, air, as, as the helicopter zombie walking up. 
knocks over a crate and he stands up on it and he's like Whoa! as he's standing up Foom! You can see these bunkers over here. They used to be an actual another bunker down in this little ravine area, which has now been torn out. And this is where the spot where Flyboy would have had his run in with the zombie right in here, the little scuffle. Because of her vantage point would be like right about here because you can kind of see just the top of the building. Yeah, and you could see the roof in the background there. Yeah, so she's, she's looking. He's over here fighting, and she's looking at this one coming, and he's telling her to run. Run! Of course, she's not saying it. That was a big thing for her, because Galen apparently said she did not want to be running and screaming. She should not know if she should fight or run or what she should do. Run! Flyboy would have picked up the mallet or hammer and did the most awkward swing of all time. Run! of the mall in the movie is when the helicopter is flying over and they're looking down. Cinemark used to actually be J.C. Penney's. They've actually revamped it. Looks like a shopping center, one of those big indoor malls. Them all. Might as well have power and everything. We might need it. And you can look out into the boiler room and you can see Warner Shook as the zombie. Think, bag it or try it. You game? I need video footage. You got it. JCPenney's, a lot of scenes happened right in here, including where they originally tried to get into JCPenney's. The doors would have been right here, exactly where the tile meets the new tile. They would push the door back. 
they were protecting themselves this way. There was a lot of knocking going on from this angle. A lot of zombies stomping like this, trying to get in. You can also see some scenes where they were running towards the glass and then hitting the glass here. Taunting the zombies. Come on, zombies, this way, zombies. Right about here in the former JCPenney's would have been where the escalators were. And of course one of the most famous scenes is shot from the first floor up and you look down as Ken's running down, you see Scott Runninger's character, Roger, run from the steps and say, hey Peter, woohoo, woohoo, yeah, and he slides right down. Right here is where the escalator was, is what you're telling me. That's right here. Not anymore. Now you can only slide on the tile. But who in their right mind would slide on tile? Hey, Peter! This is the main doorway that our heroes come out of. If you look behind us, it actually goes out to the street. That's because in the film, they go with things. only on warm human flesh. Intelligence? Seemingly little or no reasoning power. Looks like the escalator's busted. Looks like zombies have taken over the escalator. This whole area behind me, see the rock wall, see the parking lot, this is where the zombies were. We must not be lulled by the concept that these are our family members or our friends. They are not. They will not respond to such emotions. They must be destroyed on sight. The two trucks would have headed that way, straight towards the parking lot. You can actually see this little conductor mechanism in the far left shot of the aerial shot. This building has kind of been redone a little bit, but it would have been a high up shot in the air from the helicopter. And over in the woods you can see some telephone poles which are now grown over, but they are in the movie shot. And there they are, off buried in the woods. Right there's the top of the telephone pole. Don't mind if I do. That potted plant is, that's where the display uh, area would have been for the Volkswagen Scirocco that they commandeered and hotwired to run through the mall as they're locking down the doors. Locked off, then we're going on a hunt. Probably one of the most iconic scenes in the film is when the four of them are standing here in their fur coats after they cleaned out the mall, had some fun, and Ken utters the line, when there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. That was done right here, which was in front of the former J.C. Penney's. Look out down here, you will see that there's no ice ring. And down below is now where the food court is. So when they were standing out here, they were talking out towards the ice ring. But right here, in the middle, 
looking out was where they, they uttered that most famous line. Consumerism. This is all that's left of Roger's grave. Rest in peace, Roger. Give me some champagne. Pop it open. One for my homies. been surviving on the road all through this thing. And the bikers, the raiders, a lot of action happened over here. But you can actually match up a lot of shots against these exact particular rocks, which is pretty cool. If you look closely in the movie, as the raiders are coming into the entrance waiting, they're shooting all the zombies, look for this rock here with this configuration, this big rock here, this yellow rock with this white one, and in this configuration. Because in the film, one of the zombies ends up getting shot and the blood splatter comes here. And he falls behind this way and falls down. The tracks are still there where the door would have slid open. They would have pushed the door all the way open and then they all flood in this way. They, they bring the motorcycles in here. Say goodbye, creep. Behind me is the spot where Tom Savini would have died, would have gone right over this edge and down into a fountain. Obviously, you can tell there is no fountain down there. The last raider uh, is in the sidecar with the machine gun. He's coming out and Ken has taken aim at him. And he stands up and he's looking and Ken takes the shot and he hits him. He hits him right in the shoulder and he falls over right here. But if you look, right, right as he's flipping, you see, um, or right before he lands, there's blood right on the ground. So it must have been there from a previous take or something. If you look back in to the mall from where we're at, where Ken shoots him, he's actually off. So it's kind of a cheated shot. So, a little bit of movie magic, you know, curved bullet, Ken Frey hits his man.
final shot of the movie, at the top of the clock tower there was a bird. There was a little bird on top of the clock tower and you could see where the windows are. They still look exactly the same. The windows still look exactly the same. Adam, where are you? Right here, trooper. We filmed it, didn't we? We filmed it, didn't we? That's right, Matt. Didn't we? Didn't we film him? We sure did, buddy. We filmed it. We filmed it good. We filmed it and we got it all! And he yanks his glasses off. <laughs> do it again, do it again. <laughs> one more time, one more time. Take three. <laughs> and then he crushes them down on here. And then... <laughs> oh. Oh. That actually really does kind of hurt. Awesome. <laughs> Checking out the filming locations of the original... George A. Romero's. Land. <laughs> land of the dead, of course. It's the land of the dead now. We filmed them, didn't we? <laughs> I think my phone went off. <laughs> we filmed it and we got it all! <laughs> we filmed and we got it all! Alright, go again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go, go. We <laughs> We sure did, buddy. We filmed it. We filmed them good. We filmed it, didn't we? <laughs> okay, one more time. Adam, where are you? Right here, trooper. We filmed it, didn't we? We filmed it, didn't we? <laughs> I can't That's remember. That's right, Matt. That. That's right, okay, Matt. Okay, one more time. Adam, where are you? Right here, trooper. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. It's so funny. I can't stop laughing. Didn't we? Didn't we film them? We sure did, buddy. We filmed them. We filmed it good. We filmed it and we got it all!